Good morning. I'm Alicia Fowler, Operations Officer with the Florida Division of Emergency Management State Watch Office. The following is the Daily Situation Report for Saturday, March 14, 2009. The State Emergency Operations Center is currently at a Level 3 monitoring status. All nuclear power plants are operating at normal capacity. No major outages are reported. All airports and seaports are open and operating normally. All major highways in the state are open or will be open in the next 12 hours. No health advisories are issued for the state. No confirmed or suspected major attacks on major computer networks in the state, and there are no known border security or migrant issues at this time. And now the weather report. A stationary front remains situated along the I-10 corridor and Florida State Line this morning, producing cloudy skies and some isolated showers. Rainfall chances will increase for North Florida areas today and tonight as a series of disturbances move along the front to generate shower activity. A surface area of low pressure over southern Louisiana this morning will move northeast into central Mississippi and northern Alabama this afternoon. This will lift the stationary front over North Florida northward as a warm front while a cold front develops over the central and western Gulf of Mexico. The warm and moist air south of the warm front and east of the cold front will provide better chances for rain over the Florida Panhandle and Big Bend on Saturday and then across much of North Florida Saturday night. Weak instability with the front will keep thunderstorms very isolated, so the main threat with this system will be heavy rainfall amounts, mainly over the Florida Panhandle. The trailing cold front will linger and basically stall again over Alabama and the western Florida Panhandle tonight, but another disturbance moving along the front will keep high rain chances in the area. Meanwhile, central and south Florida will remain under the control of high pressure through the weekend, which will keep the frontal boundary and associated moisture north of the area. A few showers will be possible over the Atlantic coastal waters during the morning hours, but any showers that make it to the coast should dissipate quickly as they move inland. Otherwise, mostly dry and warm conditions are expected to continue with above normal temperatures. The only weather hazard will be patchy areas of fog developing during the late night and early morning hours through the weekend. Any fog mixed with smoke from nearby wildfires could further reduce roadway visibilities. Relative humidity values will continue to increase statewide today. Even without red flag conditions, dry soil combined with warm temperatures and afternoon breezes will continue to result in a high threat for wildfires, especially over the central and southern Florida Peninsula where dry conditions are forecast to persist through Monday. At the coast, ocean swells and increasing onshore winds will result in a moderate risk of rip currents at northeast Florida beaches with a high risk of rip currents forecast for east central Florida beaches today. The KBDI average for the state of Florida is 560 on a scale of 0 to 800. Currently, eight Florida counties are reporting average KBDI values above 700 with another 11 counties having KBDI values above 650. Over half of Florida is experiencing extremely dry soil conditions. Much needed rainfall is forecast for north Florida areas through Monday, but most of the dry conditions are forecast to continue across central and southern Florida until next Tuesday. All vegetation is fuel for a wildfire, though some trees and shrubs are more flammable than others. To reduce the risk of wildfire to your home, you will need to modify or eliminate brush, trees, and other vegetation near your home. The greater the distance is between your home and the vegetation, the greater the protection. For more information on how to protect your home from wildfire, visit floridadisaster.org. And that's all we have for you today. Have a safe and enjoyable Saturday.